Hey guys, what's going on? I uh, just finished uh, doing uh, some reamps with uh, a couple DIs that I had recorded and um, tried it on a number of mics. Each mic sounds great. I'm sure with any uh, good engineer they can use any mic and shape it to fit in the mix accordingly. I don't favor any uh, over each other. Um, I won't try to give a biased review here, but just something for you guys to determine in your opinion what what mic sounds like. Um, I used uh, on this uh, video, I used the EVH3 with the matching cab on a Kramer Custom with some EMG 81s. Ran that into my API 3124 into my Apogee um, Symphony, and I'm running it in. Let's see here. We are running at 48, 24, uh, 30, 28 at 32. Um, so it's not uncommon uh, setup. So. Um, on these uh, samples here, I didn't use any EQs, compressors. I just wanted it as raw as can be. Um, no way to affect the sound, so that way we can hear uh, an honest tone. Um, only thing that I got is from the bass and the drums. What I'm going to first start off doing is um, I'm going to start with the 57, and we're just going to hear guitars. And uh, mind you, I haven't put anything so the volume isn't so loud. When I track, I track. I try to stay below 15 dB when coming in, so that way I have a lot of headroom come a mix, and it's just it's just a habit I had. So the volume might be a little low. I'm going to do my best to increase it. Um, so here we go. We're going to start with the 57. Let's take a listen. And it's wrong place. Alright, cool. So that was the 57s. We're going to try out the i5s. And uh, I don't know if I pointed out on the pans, they're hard left, hard right, um, which is really typical in, in metal. So here's the i5s. <laughs> Here we go, this is going to be the 609s. Yeah. 
And uh, next ones are 421s. Here comes the last one, the AKG 214s. So each mic has their own distinct feel, flavor. Uh, some are a little brighter, some a little darker. I tried my best to um, match exactly, not so much the location of the mic, but just try to get it spot on in volume. The parameters the, on the EVH were basically the same. I never changed them other than for the 214s. I had to drop the volume down just a little on the head because even with the pad on the APIs and the DB cut on the mic, it was still really loud. So that's the only difference. Um, might be a little tonal change because of saturation on the tubes. But other than that, um, I think this was a really good uh, way, again, just so people can hear the differences on these mics. Now uh, I'm going to use it on a common uh, setup here, like I picked this beautiful app up, uh, plug-in, uh, Steven State Drums, I got it at Audio MIDI for 20 bucks, it was a killer steal, it has now replaced my TuneTrack kit, superior and easy, it's just, it's cool, it's the bomb. And um, on the bass, I used a, a four-string jazz and it's not the bomb it, it doesn't sound that great but it gives a little bit of low end uh, feel yeah, I'm gonna do what I would do which would probably be a 57 blended with the 421 and I'll use the 57s as my tone Sounds pretty good there. Let's see. I'm going to add it with everything.
we have it. Um, if you guys really are picky about wanting to hear it in a specific, I could drop it on a Dropbox, and you could hear independently each uh, mic. Um, mind you, YouTube's quality sucks. So, uh, anywho, um, I'll be putting more videos up with different heads, and I'm going to be doing some free reamps because I love music, and I know you guys love music. So, shoot me a line if you want some free reamps uh, with the EVH while I have it here at my house before it goes to the studio. All right, guys, have a good one.